Okay guys, I'm sure you can see the excitement on my face. We've got some new stuff to look at today. I'm pretty sure the unboxing videos are my favorite kind of videos to make. It's always nice to get new stuff. Um, but this video would not be possible without Egg on Warehouse in Johannesburg. So I want to take a moment to thank Louis. Um, actually, I was driving home the other day after borrowing a friend's caliber gun cricket. And I was shooting with it and I really, really enjoyed the gun. And I was thinking to myself, it'd be really nice to have um, a 22 caliber cricket to, to try out, you know. Um, and just as I was thinking that, I get a phone call from Louis at Egon Warehouse and Louis says, Matt, we've just got a new shipment of, of caliber gun crickets and caliber gun colibris or hummingbirds in. Would you like me to send you some to try out? And I said, yes, please. That would be absolutely awesome. So these two guns are sent to me on loan. We're going to open them up. I haven't even taken a look at them yet. So you're going to experience this with me. Um, let's go straight ahead and do it. First thing I'm going to do is to just open everything up. I'll fast forward this part. All right, so it looks like these are two guns. And wow, they're really light, especially this one. Really, really light. Let's get this open. Very nice. Nice. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see. So here's the top of the box. Got caliber gun printed over there. And already it's smaller than I expected. Um, obviously, the other caliber gun I had had a giant 8 to 32 scope on it. So, oh, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Beautiful wooden stock. Nice, looks like laser checkering, awesome. Okay, let's take a look first of all at what comes with the gun. Okay, it looks like there's a set of spare O-rings, very important. I wish more guns included this because it's kind of inevitable that at some point the O-rings are going to get damaged or break and you'll need to replace them. So let's put these to one side for now. Two magazines, that's really nice. A screw of some sort, I'm not sure what that is for, and the full probe. Um, obviously if they didn't in include the full probe it would have been a bit of a problem, so it's good to see they've got that. And it's nice, it's nice that there's a spare magazine. Um, as you can see here, the Cricut comes with a whole lot of magazine holders. It's one of the things I like most about the gun, so it makes sense to include a spare magazine. And what's nice is that the Cricut magazines aren't that expensive. But man, this thing feels nice. It's actually really, really light. It must have been the scope on the other gun that, that felt heavier. But I think the, the wooden version, the walnut version of this gun, is actually lighter than the um, synthetic version. Nice. One thing I'm slightly disappointed about is that I don't see the, the cheek piece. Um, I was told that the... The wooden crickets come with a cheek piece, but I don't see anything in here, so that's a little bit disappointing. But I suppose it's not the end of the world. A little bit uncomfortable, but we'll just have to make do. Oh, before I forget, there is also a little instruction manual included, and it is in English. It's a gun made in the Czech Republic, so you might expect there to be instructions in Czech, but it's all in English, so that's great. Now the next gun we're going to look at is a gun that is a bit of a mystery to most people. Um, a lot of people know about it, you know, the, the Calibre Gun Calibri, um, which is in the Czech language means hummingbird, but very, I've seen very few reviews on this gun, I've seen very little information on it, um, so it's still, it's still uh, quite a mystery to most people. I might even be one of the first people to do a proper review of this gun in English if I, if I do it quite soon, I'll have to hurry up on that. But I'm very excited to see what's in here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nice. <coughs> okay, again, we've got the instruction manual. Must be standard. Multi shot pre charged air rifle certificate. Got, again, spare O rings. It's great that those are included. The spare spring. The full probe, and there's only one magazine with this gun, 
Um, it would have been nice if there were two, but there's no place to keep the spear on this gun, so I suppose there wouldn't really be much of a point. I'm very interested to see how this magazine system works, because I know it's very different to the Cricut. Um, so you'll see, this is also a bullpup, but it's, it looks kind of like a pistol carbine or something. It's, it's kind of like a hybrid between the pistol carbine and the bullpup. Ho ho ho, look at that, eh? Look at that. Ah, it's probably about the same weight as the um, as the Cricut. This gun is also available in silver. With the, the metal work all done in silver. And it's also available with a, a wood stock. This is a synthetic stock. Man, this is cool. Safety mechanism right over here. Bolt action on the side. And this is where this gun differs from the Cricut. Um, when I did a little review of the 177 Cricut I borrowed, there were a few things that I didn't like about it. One of those things was that the cocking lever was all the way back, and the other thing was the way that the magazine slotted in, that you actually had to use two hands to put the magazine in. It was really awkward. This gun, they fixed all of the things that I don't like about the Cricut. So the cocking lever is on the left-hand side, so you can aim and cock at the same time. And the magazine system doesn't have any funny um, knob at the back that you've got to pull back to put the magazine in. You basically just pull the, the bolt back and slide it in and it stays. So that's great to see. Apparently this gun has got quite an impressive shot count. Um, at first I thought it was a semi-automatic gun. I heard a lot of people saying that this is a semi-auto gun. But as far as I know, you do have to actually um, cycle the magazine before each shot. It's not like the FX Revolution where you can just keep on pulling the trigger um, it's actually got a bolt that that is used to cycle the magazine looks like we've got about 170 bar of air in here so let's see how she oh it's really nice very very nice it's quite an interesting shroud system here as well I see a few vent holes at the end and uh, there must be a reason for that I've heard that this gun is very very quiet can't wait to to fit a scope on the thing and get shooting. And on that note, I actually do have a few scopes here as well that we're gonna to fit to these guns. So let's take a look what we've got. Okay, got some Optizan Optics, MTC. I really like the MTC scopes. I've done a, an unboxing video of the uh, MTC Viper. So I won't go into too much detail on these scopes. But uh, here you go. So we've got the Mamba, MPC Mamba. And I'm going to be fitting the Mamba to the, um, to the Hummingbird because it's a, a slightly lighter scope than the other scope we have here. And I think the Hummingbird is made to be a really, really compact, really light gun. This is a, this is a, a fairly light scope. This is a 4 to 16 Mamba with an illuminated reticle and I've actually never used the Mamba before I've only had experience with the MTC Viper so this is going to be a new experience for me but these are really low profile turrets which are quite nice the flip up caps which are one of the features I like most about the MTC scopes um, there is a sunshade included in here and uh, Another thing I really like about the MTC scopes is the reticle that they use. The SCB reticle stands for Small Caliber Ballistics. It's one of the things I really like. So that's the Mamba scope. We'll put that on the Hummingbird. And then we've got a scope that I am familiar with. The MTC Viper. Nicely wrapped in, in the bubble wrap. Keep it nice and safe. And there you go. As I said, I really, really do like the MTC scopes. Um, I don't think you can you can really beat them in, in value for money. In fact, I'd probably go as far as to say that um, there might even be a, a better bar for the money than the, the Hawk scopes. The Hawk scopes can be quite expensive, but there you go, very nice flip up caps, clear glass, great turrets, 
We're going to fit this one to the caliber gun Cricut. And we'll uh, do some whole of scope cam shooting. We'll do full reviews. Give my thoughts on both the guns. And we'll really put them through their paces. See what they can do at long range. Do a lot of hunting with them. Let's see where this goes. The opportunities are endless. Um, let's check if there's air in the Cricut. Yes, we've got about 150 bar. Very, very nice. Again, there's less kick on this gun than, than in my other 22 caliber guns. Very, very still. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I must say, I am beyond excited to, to get the scopes on these guys and to, to begin to put them through the test. I'm sure you're excited to see how these guns shoot as well. Um, if you haven't checked out Airgun Warehouse yet and you're in South Africa, go check their website. It's in the video description and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.